Early one morning, Percy was working in the yard. He was preparing a train for Oliver, the Great Western. Fine morning, Mr. Percy, said Toad, as Percy shunted him onto the back of the train. It is quite nice today, Percy replied. I just wish I knew where Oliver was. He's late. Oh, Mr. Oliver is always- But before Toad could say another word, Oliver arrived. His two-toned whistle sounded loudly as he rolled in. I'm here, I'm here. Sorry I'm late, he grumbled. Bulgy was causing trouble again and wouldn't let me pass the crossing. Well, you're here now, began Percy, but never mind that. Was that your whistle? I don't think I've heard it before. Why does it sound like that? Oh, didn't you know? Oliver chuffed proudly. It's two-toned. Sounds glorious, doesn't it? Anyhow, I would love to say in chat, but as you said yourself, I'm late. Come along now, Toad. Mm, yes, Mr. Oliver, right behind you. And Oliver puffed away up the branch line, once again sounding his whistle. Percy was in awe of the Great Western Engine. That afternoon, Percy was talking to Duck about Oliver's whistle. What right does Oliver have to two whistles, he said indignantly. I work hard enough for two, or even three for that matter. Don't be silly, Percy. Oliver's whistle's unique to him. We get along just fine with ours, replied Duck. And besides, we like mine. And he let out a few peeps. <coughs> Your sound's nice too. No need to change it. But Percy wasn't satisfied. When Duck met Oliver, he told him what Percy had said. Oliver found it quite amusing. Really now? Hard enough for two? Or three, <laughs> chuckled Duck. That's a thought, Oliver laughed. That afternoon, as Percy took his trucks back to the quarry, he tried whistling like Oliver. He tried at every station, every crossing, and any time he saw someone by the line. He whistled and whistled, but every peep came out the same. He was feeling most disappointed. As Percy arrived at the top station, he found Thomas, who was most confused by all the whistling. What happened, Percy? Is something stuck in your whistle? Percy explained about Oliver. Thomas was quick to taunt. Oh dear, our Percy's going Great Western, is he? I say, you're on the wrong branch. The little Western is back the way you came. <laughs> and Thomas puffed away with Annie and Clarabelle, feeling quite amused. As he left, Percy thought he could hear a familiar sound. That evening, Percy was at the harbor with his last train of the day. He was still thinking about Oliver's whistle and wasn't paying attention. We'll be home early tonight, said his driver. The last truck is being unloaded now. We'll be back in no time. But he couldn't be more wrong. As Percy started to move, he peeped his whistle once more but forgot to check his surroundings. Then came the shout. Look out below, cried a voice. Before anyone had time to react, there was a loud thud and a cracking sound coming from Percy's boiler. A massive crate of mechanical parts had come loose from the crane above. Percy's boiler was inspected. At first, no one noticed anything wrong. Then, it happened. As his driver pulled the whistle chain, there was a shrill hissing sound. The fireman, who had been examining him, jumped in surprise. Well, that's torn it, he said. The crate split your whistle in half, right down to the base. We shan't be going anywhere just yet. It's not safe to travel without a whistle. Percy sighed. He knew he was in quite a mess. Soon, Duck arrived to help Percy back to the big station. He said nothing, but couldn't help laughing as he pulled Percy away. <laughs> They arrived at the big station just as Oliver had pulled in with his last passenger train. Oliver? asked Duck innocently. That's me, replied Oliver, glancing at Percy. But if you're Oliver, then who have I been pulling? Well, that's Percy, didn't you know? It can't be. He's got two whistles, and everyone knows Percy's only got the one. Actually, Duck, chuckled Oliver, even though it might look like he's got two whistles, I think he hasn't even got one at all. Or if he does, it's awfully shrill. Do right, Oliver. Whether it's one whistle or two, it's not a pleasant sound at all. The hissing was indeed coming from Percy's broken whistle. The green engine was quite upset indeed. 
but he now knew not to let envy get the better of him. <laughs>